Just realizing something here, um, mostly because of my friend that I reached out to and said, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be late because today I have like this kind of a ADHD day or when my bowel movements are not functioning properly, usually because something I've ate or allergies, then my emotional system changes and things that used to be easy for me feels a little bit harder. And I have a belief and there's also some studies backing this up that if you have um, some kind of mental disorder or if you have ADHD or you have OCD or you have um, just in general like narcissistic traits where sometimes it's really bad and mood swings and all these things. But if your bowel movements are not working properly, your mood tends to be different as well. And so that's why I believe that if you balance that out, then by eating healthier or even getting the right bacteria uh, in your gut, because you need bacteria in your gut, especially if you've been on um, antibiotics or something like that, you need the right bacteria to stabilize um, your gut. And when I feel like this, uh, yeah, it tends to be, you know, me trying to be a real man and not cry and be like strong and be like, no, I just got to get things done today and ignore what's going on inside of me and just keep moving forward. But also it feels like sitting down crying, but I'm not very good at it. I still do cry. And I know a lot of my friends already seen me cry uh, uh, many times, I think, but I'm not very good at it. Meaning that when I do cry, I cry for around hmm, 10 minutes maximum, but usually it'll be like 30 seconds to a minute. So all in all, when my bowel is not my stomach, my movement of my bowel, like going to the toilet and not going to the toilet, depending on how you feel, um, when that doesn't work, your emotional system, is, is your nervous system is affected because 80% of your immune system is in the gut. It's right here. That's where it all happens. And there's a lot of other places that's your immune system as well. So it's, there's not just one place where it is placed, it's all your body. So I wanted to say when you feel like that, and if you want to be successful, you surround yourself with successful people. That's what people keep telling me. And I've, I've been doing that most of my life, I would say, but also I like to be the one in the room that knows a lot of things about many things. And so I research a lot of things. And one thing, thing I've found out through just experience is the more honest I am about me feeling low or high or feeling great or sad, or uh, the more people will meet me where I am instead of me pretending to be somewhere I'm not. I actually create some disharmony or I'm out of alignment with what I'm saying and how I'm feeling. And I don't know if you know this from your parents, but they told you so many lies through your childhood that some of them just didn't feel right. It, it feel, felt like clearly that they were lying and you might even test the waters, be like, are you sure? Is that true? Or no, you're kidding or something like that. And they're like, no, no, that's why things are like that. Or no, I'm fine. You know, your mother or father be, be like, or even your siblings be like, no, no I'm fine. Or one of your friends. And the thing is, we're lying to ourselves and we're lying to other people. And what we could do is be like, I'm struggling with some things, but I just need time to um, elaborate on it. Uh, so just ignore it for now. I'll, I'll open up when I need to. And most people respect that actually. Or you can even say it's nothing to do with you. I just, I'm going through something. I don't know what it is. When I find out, I'll, I'll share it. Today I shared with my friend Camilla that I didn't feel on top of my game today. And uh, it could be many things, but I think it was the my bowel thing. And it just, it makes me think and search and I make myself feel wrong and like, why, what's wrong with me? Why can't I just be normal? Uh, why can't I just be like other days where I'm high energy and all these things? It's not that I'm not doing things. I'm just, I realize I'm doing things to escape the feeling I'm, that I'm in. And you might want to avoid that and just realize what the feeling is that you're trying to run from and then listen to it. It doesn't have to give you any answers, but you just listen to it to get to know it. So you don't have to run from it. If you know an axe murderer and you keep running from him, but actually he just wanted to ask you when you stop and he, you know, catches up with you and you'll be like, what's up? And he'll be like, do you want to borrow my axe? 
he's not an axe murderer anymore, is he? He's just someone who has an axe that wants to share it with you. And that's the same thing with problems or issues or overthinking is when we keep running from them, we put some behavior like I need to have a cigarette or I need to eat some chocolate or I'll do, I won't do my work right now. This is me today. I won't do my work. I just need to sit down and like look at the ocean or I just need to check this on Instagram. And putting your phone away is actually a really good tip. Just do that for two hours. Just put it away, turn it off totally. Um, so you know it won't disturb you, especially if you're ADHD or some kind of, you know, have a hard time concentrating. My invitation in this long video about sharing my knowledge is be open to your friends, how you feel. And today, about the time I should be at her place, I wrote her and said, sorry, I just totally lost track of time, which was true. I just don't feel like myself today. So I'm very sorry that it also will affect your day. And because I'm surround myself with people with high expectations, I also make sure to show them how my low is so they can cope with that and also expect that from me sometimes because if I just put, uh, be around people who just expect high things of me, well, then, you know, I will never really show them who I really am. And I have low days and I think it's so important to show this on Instagram as well and on YouTube and whatever um, because low days are just as important that we allow emotions to flow through us like water and instead of getting stuck in one motion that we think is not flowing but it's really flowing but you're focusing on it so much or is running from it so much it doesn't you don't not allowing it to flow so that's an invitation to allow those feelings and also be honest and as you know maybe if you've read on my profile Authenticity is super important. It's, I, I love that trade and being honest and also admitting your mistakes. I'm not, I'm not always a master of these, th in these things. I'm still learning. I think we'll do that for the rest of, li of our lives. But striving to do that is most important to me. So I hope it is to you. I invite you to be more honest and more authentic, not because of other people, because you accept yourself as you are and who you are with knowing that you are not perfect and then when you show that you also invite more people in that also say well i'm not perfect either so if you know you're not perfect and you're still striving share it in the comments how how do you feel and do you even dare to share your loaves because then you'll see a lot of men as well showing themselves crying and allowing themselves to also have emotions and you know it's something we need to really learn about because we men are not we have not grown up in a society where that is allowed so anyways i'll leave you with these many words and uh, as always thank you for following me and um i care for you so thank you for being there and listening see you next time